Good everyone. First of all, I'd like to give a brief prayer to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We're going through times right now. However, think about what Jesus wanted us to do. Walk in faith. So I'm coming to everybody right now that's on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, throughout the churches, all in America. Today is a victorious day. Everyone is in existence, still alive. Everyone have an agenda. I know some people say, well, no, not everyone. Some people generally just lay in the bed. <laughs> some people generally just play video games all day. Some people gender right now is the protest and march about equality. Same as it was back in the 60s. Probably what it was back in 1860. However, I can relate to Brother George Floyd that was just killed in the street senselessly. I was sparked by a prestigious lady, the Queen. Candace Owen, they said, how can we glorify a person like George Floyd with a past like he had? That hit home, y'all. That hit home to me. Because I was a I am a justice-involved individual. I was growing up young in the streets justice involved from 17 to 47 I've been in justice involved but the key why I was in there on my Damascus road Jesus came into my life I always had spiritual encounters with the Lord but I never knew what it was people call it deja vu <clears throat> as Paul vicious murder of Christians and all who oppose the law he had a Damascus Road experience I had a Damascus Road experience in Goldsboro, North Carolina on Slocum Street in 1993 April 18, 1993 was my Damascus Road. Jesus came into my life, told me to stop running. Told me to stop running and turn myself in. I call myself doing the right thing. The right thing at that time was confessing my sins to law enforcement. And that began my journey of change. Uh, this is part of my testimony uh, of how I became to create acts of service, which is a love language, a correction officer, same as a police officer, introduced me to Christ when I was on the verge but losing my life. God bless me. In a prison. And I made a commitment to change. Was that change easy? No. Because I messed up again. As all humans. Some humans is holding down. Ain't never messed up. Some humans has never had a speeding ticket. Some humans has never been in, in front of a judge. Some humans have never been laid on the bill. But guess what? According to my book that I read, there's none under heaven without sin. It sounds good <clears throat> casting the first stone on others. It sounds good when you got your platform. But trust me, 
people go through their own personal turmoil, some form or fashion. There's depression or whatnot. There's no life on the earth without pain. That's what everyone got in common, pain. I wouldn't care what type of money you got, who, what family. Donald Trump even experienced pain. Bill Gates even experienced pain. Steve Jobs, Jeff Benzo, you name it. Martin Luther King experienced great pain. But what did he choose to do with that pain? He chose to make a difference. He chose to step out. He chose to march is what they're doing today. I can't march with you. I got to do other things. That's what Jesus put me at. While we got the brothers on the front line, I'm in our offices pushing for guys to accept us, to accept people like them. That what they're doing is exercising their first amendment right. They are part of America and they're exercising the Constitution. Just like all the names on the wall here at this Martin Luther King Memorial right here in Raleigh, North Carolina. You got lawyers, you got IBM, you got construction companies, you got Margaret Hargo, you got attorneys, prestigious attorneys that's in this area. Everybody have their name. You got Honorable John M. Kennedy. You got Brown Reality. Noah Allen attorney. You got all types of names. You got Shaw University, York Construction, Gregory Pool Equipment. Every man name or company of businesses. Buried in Raleigh National Cemetery. Charles G. Irving. Lowe's Raleigh. I guess it's a type of advertising. But uh Action Services Walking and Vis uh, Victory today. Today, we got two meetings, 10 and at 2.30. And I claim in the name of Jesus that both of them will be prosperous. No, I don't have a prestigious education like uh, Obama. People don't know, Obama went to school 22 years. Some of y'all out there 22 years old can't even imagine that, being in school all your life. Shoot, somebody don't want to go to school 12 years. And we're talking about public school, grade school. <laughs> Some of us can't imagine doing nothing straight for 22 years, but eating or talking bad about someone or gossiping. Uh, this will be edited, <laughs> trust me. Uh, I'm making rough drafts and, and trying to see how I'm gonna do my videos, how to promote acts of service. Uh, I want to get my testimony out. I don't want acts of service to be about Lionel Lamont Cox. I want acts of service to be about what it stands for, out of love. The same love that was on the cross. Jesus died for my sins. And right now, what acts of service is pushing to do right in the midst of all pandemics. We got pandemics on both sides, both sides of the fence with human rights and a coronavirus. What Acts of Service is doing right now is helping America get back in business. And we're starting right here in Raleigh, Durham, Chapel Hill area. Um, with disinfected, sanitizer and cleaning commercial property, churches, schools. We're trying to push to get some school contract. Just made our purchase this week. Prosperity, thank to the Lord. Uh, a work van, that's why you will see decals on it. I'm speaking in existence. We're gonna upgrade this so people will see it. They will see acts of service coming. And we're coming to a state near you. We're coming to your city. We could give people jobs and spread the love 
as Jesus spread the love for us on the cross. Thank you. Have a blessed day.